Hi, uh, today we will cover the table data gateway design pattern. This uh, table data gateway design pattern belongs to data source architectural patterns and uh, this uh, data source architectural patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. We will see uh, the explanation of uh, table data gateway design pattern. Uh, there are uh, three important points are there. I will read out one by one. An object that acts as a gateway to a database table. One instance will handle all the rows in the table. And uh, second point is a table data gateway holds all the SQLs for accessing a single table or view. Uh, and this uh, table data gateway holds uh, SQLs like uh, selects, insert the information in the table, update the information in the table, delete the information in the table. And uh, other code calls the table data gateway methods for all interaction with the database. And uh, third point is mixing uh, SQL in application logic will cause several problems. So we have to decouple SQL statement from the business object. Uh, we will see uh, one example so that you will understand uh, uh, these points. Okay, uh, so if you see uh, we have uh, three components. Uh, one is uh, caller business method and uh, second one is uh, person gateway and uh, third one is database which contains a uh, person table. And uh, if you see uh, this database uh, which has person table and uh, person table has uh, four columns id last name first name uh, and number of dependents currently this uh, person table holds uh, uh, two rows uh, the first row represent uh, joe person information and uh, second row represent kuni person information and uh, this is the person gateway uh, this is a single object uh, it act as a gateway to a database table so this person gateway act as a gateway to the the particular data, database table so in this case this person gateway act as a gateway to the person table and uh, this person gateway instance will handles all the rows in the table so this person gateway handle all the rows in the person table and uh, this so if you read the second point a table data gateway holds all sql for accessing a tingle, single uh, table or uh, view so it will have uh, methods to insert information in this table update information in the table and uh, select information from uh, this person table so it will it will have all the methods and uh, that method has sqls to uh, access the person table so using uh, this gateway you can manipulate uh, some inf some information in the person table also you can access uh, the person table and uh, you can get information from the person table so this is like a gateway or entry point uh, to the person table okay and uh, other code calls it method for all interaction with the database so business method calls this pe uh, person gateway methods to interact with this uh, person table okay and uh, third point missing sql in application logic will cause several problems so we have to decouple sql statement from the business object so this caller caller is like a business method so in this business method we should not write any sqls that will uh, make uh, our application logic complex so what we have to do is the sql related stuff we have to uh, put it in a separate class so in this in this uh, uh, scenario what we are doing is we are uh, we are putting all sql related stuff in the person gateway uh, so this is like a uh, entry point uh, using this uh, you can access uh, person table information in the database this is about uh, table data gateway design pattern uh, thanks for watching bye